Hi, I'm Masha Bennett. I would like to talk to you about something called the safety box. So here is the box. Um, it's about shoe box size. And um, it's particularly useful uh, if you suffer with low mood, anxiety, uh, if you have some really, really difficult moments um, when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel really low or anxious. This is where it can be really handy to have this safety box. This is something you do need to prepare in advance. So I'll talk you through um, what sort of things might be useful to have inside the safety box. Basically what we're aiming uh, for is to have a number of small objects in the box that can help you calm, can help you lift your mood even a tiny bit, can help you get more grounded to make sure that you can keep yourself safe. Um, so I'll talk you through some of the things I have in my safety box here uh, in no particular order. So what you could have, you could have your favorite CD. So these are some nice Tibetan chants I really like. And of course, nowadays you can stream music very easily online. However, having a physical CD in the box, uh, something that you need to open, put in the CD player, um, that is really helpful for grounding. So I would suggest you have an actual physical CD uh, in your box, obviously, as long as you have a CD player to play it on. Okay, um, I have a little coloring book here, um, Relax with Art, um, little coloring book for adults. Um, if you like that sort of thing, it can be very relaxing. Um, obviously also have some colored pens, I like felt tips, but you can have crayons or pencils. Um, so a coloring book can be really, really useful. Um, it can help you get grounded. It can help you get calmer. Um, also a small notebook um, and a pen. You may want to draw um, your feelings. You may want to write down what you're experiencing. Uh, you may want to have a rant or do a doodle. So just some blank pages, a pen, felt tips or pencils. Uh, really useful. Okay, uh, also in this uh, safety box I have some chewing gum. Um, if you've seen my previous videos you might have come across uh, the video on chewing. Uh, when we chew something, even if it's as simple as chewing gum, it sends a signal to our nervous system that we're safe because we wouldn't normally be eating if we were chased by a saber-toothed tiger. Uh, so as we um, chew something, um, also when we eat, but also when we chew the chewing gum, um, it sends a sig signal to our system that we're safe and it can reduce the stress levels somewhat. Um, whilst we're on the topic of chewing, chewing, you can have your favorite chocolate bar in the box. Obviously it's not something I would recommend to overdo on. Uh, if you have a chocolate bar every time you feel a bit low, you know, it might <laughs> Now, it might not be that helpful, but if you have any really difficult moment, having something that you enjoy, something sweet, uh, again, will help you ground, will help you lift your mood if it's really low. Um, it can be uh, useful to have something like a beanie toy or squeezy toy, maybe something like a stress ball. I've got a little toy ratty here. It's actually quite a soft one. It's not... Um, uh, it's not rubbery, squeezy, but it's still quite nice to hold. So something textured, something you can squeeze in your hand. Um, it's good if it's something you like as well, like I like little ratties. Um, so just squeezing it in my hand feels quite good. Um, if you have a power animal or a totem animal, um, if you believe in such a thing, uh, you could have a representation of that in your box. So for example, I've got a, a little figure of a wolf. I love wolves. Um, and again, looking at it and holding it in my hand um, is pleasant. It reminds me of the wolf qualities that I admire. Um, and it makes me feel uh, a bit better. You may want to have a picture of somebody you love. 
um, in your box. This is a picture of my daughter when she was little. Um, so somebody you love, uh, somebody you admire, somebody who's close to you, uh, some important person uh, in your life. It could also be a picture of a special place, maybe a special ho holiday desk destination, uh, somewhere you've been or somewhere you might want to go. Um, another thing in the box is a hot water bottle, a fluffy hot water bottle. Um, being warm and cozy uh, can make us feel much better. Uh, so you can have a full size version. I've got a full size version here, or you can have a small version and placing it on that part of your body, that way you feel the hurt, the physical hurt or the emotional hurt, that can be really, really soothing. So I can highly recommend that. Um, I have a little stone, like a little crystal um, in my box. Um, it's, um, it feels quite good in my hand. So any small object that feels quite nice to hold. So this is quite smooth. Um, you may prefer something that's more textured, but um, I do like the crystals. You may have a favorite crystal. Um, uh, so that's another nice thing to put in your box. Um, something smelly. So this is a patchouli oil. So it could be an essential oil or if you like perfume, it could be a favorite perfume. That smells quite nice. Um, a smell really quickly can help us change our emotional state. So if you have uh, an essential oil that you enjoy or perfume, or even something like a herbal tea bag that's uh, got a smell to it, uh, like a mint tea bag. Uh, so anything that's got a smell that you enjoy uh, that can be really helpful to change our emotional state. Um, I've also got a little bell in my box. Again, using all our senses, we've been using our taste, our smell, you know, our uh, sight. Uh, if you can also involve your hearing uh, in, in trying to change your state, you know, anything that makes a nice sound, like music, as I suggested. So it could be a small bell, or if you have a small singing bowl, for example. Um, I don't have this one in my box. It's just sitting here nearby, but you, if you prefer a singing bowl, you can have a small one in your box and just listening to the sound until it fades. Okay, so you may want to have some phone numbers in your box, for example, emergency phone numbers. Uh, you may or may not have them on your, uh, on your phone already but it's a good idea just in case to put them in the box. So it could be Samaritan's uh, number, it could be the mental health team, crisis team, uh, it could be your therapist number if you have one, it could be your, the number of your doctor um, or number of a good friend who you know uh, you can ring in a difficult moment. Um, you can also include things like your favorite poem or an inspirational quote um, or a joke, your favorite joke. So I've got a joke here. Um, I, I particularly like it, not just because I think it's quite funny, um, but um, I got it from one of my favorite teachers. So the joke reminds me of him and that sort of warms my heart uh, and makes me feel better if I'm feeling sad or anxious. So I'll read you the joke. Um, and um, but I hope you get the idea uh, what to do uh, with the box and what kind of objects you might want to put uh, in the box um, for yourself. And it doesn't have to be the same as mine. Uh, the most important thing is that it's something that's meaningful for you, something that can lift your mood even a little bit, something that can calm you or ground you. So I'll read you the joke. A wife being the romantic sort, sends her husband a text. If you're sleeping, send me your dreams. If you're laughing, send me a smile. If you're eating, send me a bite. If you're drinking, send me a sip. If you're crying, send me your tears. I love you. Oh. 
The husband typically non-romantic replies, I'm on the toilet, please advise. So that's my joke. Um, so I hope you found this useful. Um, do give this a go, uh, gather some objects for your special box, uh, the safety box, and you might only need it very, very rarely, but when you do have a really difficult moment, difficult time, uh, when you feel unsupported, when it's hard to lift your mood, or hard to calm down, this can be really, really valuable. So uh, take care and goodbye.